What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And friends, well, we're gonna be talking about this here tripod. Now, this uh, this review, this is, this is gonna be actually the longest review, the longest term review that I've done on this channel. And this was actually the, the origin of this review uh, came up last month, or it might've been the month before, we did a uh, review on one of the Vanguard uh, tripods and that led into a handful of questions from a number of you actually we saw a kind of a split in different types of questions we had a handful of you asking about the peak design tripod asking if we thought or what we thought of that many of you recognize that i've had this for a while and asked if i still used it and if i still recommended it and then we had a number of you asking why we don't review more travel tripods which, although I think I did mention, or I tried to highlight in that last video itself. But anyway, these are all items that we're gonna be covering in this video here today. I've had this tripod now for three years. So if you're on the fence or thinking about possibly getting one of these things, this is a review that you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch. Now, friends, look, we put videos like this together to help you, in this case, decide hell, do you want to spend the money on one of these Peak Design tripods? Uh, and if you find some value with this video, friend, you'd be doing us a big favor, huge favor by hitting that like button down below. It really, you know, it helps the whole YouTube algorithm and we sure appreciate it in the process. With all that said, friends, it's, it's time. Pull up a seat in, let's go. All right, before we get into the specs and features of this tripod, one of the things I wanted to address here, because again, going back to one of the questions that we see come up quite often is travel tripod. Now, why don't we review more travel tripods? So I'm gonna take this time to kind of bet, let that be a leaping point into this review itself. Now, when you think about what makes a good travel, or travel tripod, first, you want something that is lightweight. You want something with a small form factor and you want something that is stable. Well, those three are tough to come by all together. If you want something lightweight and you want something with a small form factor, generally speaking, when a, when a company comes out with a lightweight tripod and something with a small form factor, the stability is usually gets compromised because lightweight, it's it's tough to, that's the reason why I don't review a lot of, or recommend. I review quite a handful of travel tripods, but I don't re recommend a lot of them because of the biggest problem is, yeah, you see a lot, many that are small, lightweight, small form factor, and not as small as what Peak Design does here, but, where they usually fall short is on the stability part of it. And that's the part that just really is just too big of a compromise, especially when you think about, you have your expensive uh, DSLR or mirrorless camera on top of these things. Stability is, is one of the most important items there. But Peak Design really did a great job. And it's funny, because every time, now this is the carbon fiber. They make this in aluminum in both carbon fiber. When you, it's funny, because when you have this thing all condensed, put together, uh, or put it in your stud away rather, it has this really dense weight to it. When it's uh, all deployed like this, boy, I know it's the same weight, but it feels much lighter than what it, when it does when it's uh, put away. But any rate, friends, so that's, that's one of the answer, one of the questions that we see, why don't we review more travel tripods is because, well, we do, but I just, I don't like the quality and I'm not gonna get in front of you guys and just recommend any sort of tripod for the sake of it. I wanna make sure what you guys get is something that is going to well, keep your camera stable and allow you guys to get out there, and enjoy the craft even more. But anyway, Peak Design did a great job with this tripod. As I mentioned earlier, I've had this now for three years, not this exact same tripod. See, what's funny about this is I have the, the tripod that I had, I had it for a little bit. It was a pre-production unit. So we had our hands on this before it was even released to the market. Um, and that tripod lasted, boy, up until about six-ish months ago. And well, somebody decided to take it out of my truck. They liked it more than me and that kind of sucked. So I went out and picked up another one because I absolutely, when I'm traveling, 
hands down, this is my go-to tripod. I absolutely love this thing. Now let's take a look at some of the specs of this thing. Now, as you would expect from Peak Design, this tripod has impressive specs and features that make it a highly functional and durable, easy to use tripod. Hands down, this thing is an absolute beast. Okay, you're talking about something that weighs just 2.81 pounds, yet this thing can hold 20 pounds of gear, or hold up to 20 pounds of gear. Now, all of this in a tripod that, as you can see here, collapses down to diameter of a water bottle. Now, it is 15.4 inches long, collapsed, and can extend 60 inches when you have the center column uh, deployed down and down to a minimum of five inches for ultra low angle. And actually I'll share with you how you can get that ultra low angle there. Cause as you can see here, now if you wanted to deploy, get low to the ground to the ground, low and low to the ground. There we go. If I could spit that out, you have the center column that is in the way. So, and then if you extend this up, well, again, the camera is up here so peak design makes it very easy you have this handy dandy tool that they include in the kit and it's usually just attached to the legs so if you move your ball head to the side you're going to see there is a hole there and within that hole is the larger hex nut you're going to take that thing out actually just a couple spins here Okay, now what you're going to do is loosen up the center column, remove it out, plop that back into place, oops. And boom. So as you can see, now you can get this down to about five inches where the cameras could be five inches off the ground. And obviously what you can do with this as well, something else to consider. So if you have the tripod deployed, you can actually mount this on the underside of this along reattaching this to this. So if you want to be able to get some uh, down low shots or have that aimed down below, obviously to put that back in, you're just going to reverse the steps that you just took, plop that back in there, put this back onto there. Oops, I can get this over where I need it. Here we go. You just flop this around until you get access to that. Uh, there we go. Into that hex, tighten it up. And it really is that easy. Now, normally I don't keep this hex tool on the tripod itself because I find that it, it's easy to bump off. So I don't want to stand the chance of, of losing this, though this is pretty just standard hex tools. There we go, make sure that's tight. Drop that down, boom. And as you can see, so this thing comes, so this is the mount for this little tool. So between that coming off pretty easy, and then this just kind of popping out. Again, I very rarely will keep this on here, but I put it on here just for the sake of being able to play show and tell with this video. Okay, now on to the legs. There are five leg locking sections with aluminum cam locks on each one of these things. And as you can see there, these things really make it a breeze to get deployed. Most of the time when I'm out in the field and so forth, I'm using my R5 uh, with either a 70 to 200 or the 1535 on top of this here, just so you can get a sense of what camera gear that I'm personally using myself. And then every so often I'm using my, my cell phone on here, but that's really, you know, it's not gonna have any bearing on weight with the, the legs itself. So anyways, these leg locks work amazing. Now the legs are made of carbon fiber and have Shore 160 TP feet for added grip. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, super flash deployment of the legs. So as you can see there, what I will do, let me do that again. So all of these locks are right in a hands grip. So you just kind of grab it. Let's see if we can do it this way. You can see that. So just grab it and boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now, one of the questions I get quite often is, do these legs ever get loose where it starts collapsing and so forth? No, I have never had that happen. Uh, again, uh, coming on to three years uh, utilizing this tripod, 
or actually coming over three years with this, I've never had any issues with the legs getting soft and so forth. Now this comes with a ball head hub, uh, load hook, all of which are made of powder coated uh, A380 aluminum. Now one of the things about this tripod that honestly when it first came in, I didn't think I was going to like, as many of you know, when it comes to ball heads on a tripod, I've been using the Acrotech GP ball heads for years. I mean, this thing is hands down. I have a couple of these. Actually, I've owned probably four of these over the years. I love these ball heads. Now, that said, so when I saw this, and this is a good example not to judge a book by its cover. When I saw this, I'm like, there's no way in heck I'm going to enjoy using that. But the single ring around this makes operating this ball head. This has a omnidirectional ball head and the movement of this is extremely smooth, easy to use. And as you can see here with a single hand, let me do this here. I'm gonna take my R5, which is normally shooting that angle over there. So I'm gonna show you how simple it is to operate this thing. So you have, you have to technically two rings here. You have the top one that has a little lever on it. That's going to allow you to loosen up the clip that's gonna hold the camera into this thing. And then you have that bottom ring which is gonna lock and delock so you can actually move this thing around. So unlike some of the other ball heads that I've used, so there we go, as I'm putting that in, I'm pulling down, I have my hand on the front of this, I'm pulling down that clip, sliding it in there. My thumb is then going to the left, locking it in place, and then you just simply turn that center ring to the clockwise, I had to think about that for a moment, to lock that into place. So again, single hand, you are able to lock, unlock, put it into place, and it is rock solid. So to unlock or get your camera off, again, you're just moving it over to the right, pull down, and there you go. It is crazy easy. Now, let me get this camera back on over here. Now the ball head is compatible with most third-party archetype uh, plates and PD plates. Now there's also removable pins, so you can use most archetype L brackets on this thing as well. Now the center column knob, the lever on the top that I just pointed out and the adjustment ring are all made of anodized 6061 T6 aluminum. So that saves additional weight without sacrificing the durability in the performance that you're getting or that you would expect out of this thing. Now, unlike many other travel tripods, this one is extremely stable. And again, this is what I was mentioning a moment ago. Now there's integrated hook on the bottom of this thing for anchoring the tripod to make it even more stable if I can get that in frame, there we go right there. Now there's a wide range of height options that give you the opportunity for traditional or low angle shots. Now the low or inverted modes allows you to position the camera just a few inches up above the ground. Now there's an integrated phone mount and that's actually, if you know some of the Peak Design products, they usually have these Easter eggs or these little hidden little treasures. So this hook here, what you're gonna do is you kind of put your finger through the little groove there and pull out and twist. Off that comes right there. And out you have is this phone mount, which again is very easy to mount. You're gonna pull, left hand pull down the, the tab, let it go, move it to the right and boom, it is in place. And it doesn't get any easier than that. Now all the parts on this tripod are replaceable, cleanable, serviceable, and they're also impact resistant and water resistant. Now this tripod, best of all, does come with a lifetime guarantee as well. And on top of that, Peak Design includes a padded weatherproof, oh, here we go. Okay, full disclosure, I never use this, hence it's in the box. I never use the cases that tripods come in. But anyways, you get this handy dandy weatherproof case if you want to transport your tripod. And you know, friends, going, I never use those things. And while it's not cheap, it's $650. I mean, you really get what you pay for. I mean, a tripod that is fully serviceable with a lifetime guarantee is certainly worth that price. Again, when you factor in the how stable this thing is, the size, and it just really does what it's supposed to do for a travel tripod. So, from a functionality standpoint, this thing is the ace. All right, now as promised, I'm gonna share with you the things that I like about this tripod and the things that I don't. 
you know, most of the things that I like about this here, I've already mentioned uh, to you a moment ago here. I really like how, you know, from, from a travel tripod standpoint, the size of this thing is the big winner. I mean, on the side of your bag, this legitimately fits in perfect. The weight of this thing is fantastic. The stability of this thing really is a home run. Now for me, how I use this, I am, as I mentioned in previous vid uh, videos, when it comes to center columns, I never will have my DSLR on this when it's fully extended up. I may put it up a couple or few inches at most because again, keep in mind, even with something like this, or even one of my other you know, larger tripods that I use in my studio, the center column, as soon as you start raising that center column up, that center of gravity starts getting wonky in any tripod. So I will very, I will use this in moderation. Now, if I'm putting my smartphone on it, yeah, all day long. Um, but I love the stability, the size of this thing. I love the features that, that Peak Design puts into these things. Now, the one thing, and actually, I use this phone thing quite a bit, and that's actually leading to the one con with I have the, with this tripod. And technically, it's no longer a con because the original one that I had, they made these the bottom parts out of these, you know, that hold the phone itself out of a plastic. So what would happen is there's a little pin that goes through there, and if you use this enough, that that part would break. And so with the new ones, it looks like they probably took some feedback from folks and that's completely out of some sort of alloy. So you're not going to, well, if you, I was gonna say you're not gonna break that, but if you do, well, you probably did something that you aren't supposed to, but this thing is built like a tank. So this is hands down when I'm traveling, this is my go-to tripod. So now that you got a better idea of just how good this Peak Design Travel Tripod is, let's switch gears and talk about our current giveaway. Friends, we have three excellent prizes up for the grab this month. We have a Vanguard Veo 265 Travel Tripod. We have a 16 by 20 canvas print from canvasprints.com. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. Now entering the giveaway is really, guys, we make it super easy. Step one, you gotta like this video and you need to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment, on, the more chance that you have to win. So by all means, start watching some other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, post some photos, friends, we would love to see you. And that is it. For complete details of the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. And one last thing, if you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for our account. It's, friend, it's free to do so. And it gives you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site, including news articles on camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for our account, and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. All right, friends, and that is it for this Peak Design Travel Tripod Review, long-term review, geez, wow three years in the making. But anyway, hope all your questions were answered and they were not. By all means, go down below, uh, post your question down below. I will get to that uh, as, a, and if I can't answer it, well, I'll find an answer for you. But friends, I'm going to thank you again for tuning in. It's an honor to have you here. And uh, with that said, I'm gonna be turning off the camera so you get out there, stay healthy and take your best shot.